Hey guys, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Our story so far. Layton exposes Don Paolo, the evil scientist who was posing as Inspector Chalmy. His disguise now gone, Don Paolo escapes from the manor, leaving only his latex mask behind. Having outed the fiend who tried to take their lives, Luke and Leighton set out to explore the tower. I believe this might be one of the final episodes of Professor Leighton and the Curious Village, since we are on the final chapter. Kind of depends how long it is. Any other puzzles here? I mean, hint coins? But we'll see how we go. Hmm. Yep, it looks like you've solved at least 75 puzzles. Alright then, go on in the tower. I guess you have to have like a certain amount of puzzles solved to go in. Kind of like stars in uh, Super Mario. This place gives me the creeps. Plus it's all murky in here and I can't see a thing. Hmm? Oh my. Ah. Ah, my head. Look, you alright, my boy? No injuries, I hope. Don't worry, Professor, I'm fine. And yourself? Nothing a good long bath later won't solve, but more importantly, where are we? This room is stuffed to the gills with curious machines. I've never seen anything like them. What do you suppose they do? What in the world? Look over there on the wall, Professor. My word. There are views from all over town displayed here. Don't they almost look like... blueprints? And what's this? Almost every village's name is on this wall. Professor, what if somebody is using this place to keep an eye on what's going on in St. Mysteria? Hmm. Look, there are stairs over there. Let's get out of here, this place gives me goosebumps. Yes, you're quite right, Luke. Let's head out. Oh, what's this notebook? Did you find something interesting? I think so. This notebook looks like someone's been using it as a diary. Just a little longer now. Soon this village will complete the task it was designed for. I've waited so long for this day, but as it comes closer, I feel a little lonely. I hope that, at the very least, the young mistress finally finds happiness at the end of all this. This poor journal looks like it's been through a lot. All the pages are terribly frayed. I bet all the scraps of paper we found in the village came from here. Not a whole lot going on. What's this? You. Hmm. You two again. What are you doing here? What are you up to? Just a moment, sir. What are you talking about? I knew it. You came here to steal my secrets, didn't you? Didn't you? Don't play dumb with me. I see right through you. Don't think I haven't been watching. I've seen you two sniffing about every nook and cranny in town getting in the way of my work. Now I've had it, so unless you want trouble, give me back number 38. Please calm yourself, sir. Just listen to what we have to say for a moment. We haven't intended to get in the way of your work. We are merely searching for the golden apple. Neither of us knows anything about this number 38 business. Ah. Oh. 
you just say the golden apple? You're really here looking for the golden apple then? Precisely. Do you know anything that could be of help to us? Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? What you're looking for is on the top floor of the tower. But watch out, because the puzzles in this tower are harder than a whole mess of diamond-tipped drills. I know they call you a puzzle master, but are you sure you have what it takes to solve them? Now why would you go and tell us something like that? I bet you just want to set us up to walk right into some sort of trap. Hmm. What would I possibly gain from doing something like that? Not to mention, it's my duty to guide those who seek the golden apple toward their goal. Some mischief maker snuck into the village and had me all confused, but I think I've figured things out now. Seeing as how it's your duty and all, would you mind filling us in? What is St. Mysteria's big secret? Alright. The name is Bruno. I work for the Reinhold family. For some time now, I've managed St. Mystia from up here in the tower. Managed St. Mystia. You're the one who manages the life of each of the villagers, aren't you? What in the world are you two talking about? Surely you must have seen them too, Luke. Do you recall the cogs we found about the village, and the list of names we saw in that room? Oh my god, are they all robots? All the villages in St. Mystia are robots created by Bruno. What the hell? What do you mean the villages are all robots? In other words, the inhabitants of St. Mystia aren't human, but intricately constructed machines. They're robots, my boy. I have to say, I'm astonished that anyone could build such elaborate machines in this day and age. You must be quite the engineer, sir. That's a pretty big twist. <laughs> Aren't you a sharp one? I never imagined you'd figure out so much of the mystery by yourself. What do you mean, sir? St. Mystia isn't a real town, Luke. It was constructed by Bruno and the late Baron. How am I doing so far, Bruno? Um, you're right on the money. Master believed that one day an heir worthy of his fortune would come forward. He had me build this city and all who dwell within it to prepare for that day. Then he hid his greatest treasure, the golden apple, away in the top floor of his tower. I was ordered to protect it with my life. Until the person arrives who can solve the puzzle of the golden apple, I will continue to protect it. Remarkable. I'm impressed at how far Baron Reinhold went to protect his treasure. It's not just any treasure, mind you. The golden apple was the Baron's most precious treasure. But why go through all this just to hide treasure? Why build an entire village to protect it? Oh, whoops. Seems I've been a little loose-lipped here. I've already said more than I should've. The answers you're looking for are waiting for you at the top of the tower. Go on then, show me if you're the one who can solve the puzzle of the golden apple. Hmm. Think you, Gizmo? Professor, look, the stairs are barred off. Aha, uh -huh. this must be one of the puzzles Bruno warned us about. It does look quite difficult. This is perfect timing, my boy. I'm in the mood for a puzzle with some meat to it. Puzzle 94, get the ball out for... Oh, I missed one. 21 moves. I doubt it, but we'll have a go. Hmm. No, that doesn't help. Psst.
somehow much worse than the uh, thing I did the first time. Hmm. I feel like I want to get that purple block up there somehow. There we go. <clears throat> All right, don't lose it now. We're getting there, getting somewhere. Okay, here's some movement. There we go. <laughs> 245 moves, that was close to 21. That one was difficult, goodness. There we are. Come on, Luke, we must press on. Alright, lead the way, Professor. Say, Professor, there's something that's been on my mind for a while. Oh, what is it, Luke? When the crank for the bridge was stolen, we were sealed in the village along with Don Paolo. It could be just me, but I feel like this wasn't just a coincidence. Somebody planned it, but who? <laughs> well, Luke, I don't have any direct evidence of it, but I'd wager that it was Bruno's doing. Bruno? But why in the world would Bruno do something like that? Do you remember what he said? It's his duty to show the way to those who seek the golden apple. But naturally, Bruno had no idea what kind of people would come to St. Mystia seeking that treasure. 
it's likely he trapped us in the village to buy himself some time to evaluate who we were. He wanted to see if we were worthy of the secret. That's terribly presumptuous of him, don't you think? How could he think either of us were bad people? He doesn't even know us. Who knows how Bruno saw it, Luke? I'm certain he was just being careful. After all, Don Paolo managed to sneak in with us. Bruno probably had his hands full or needed time to see what kind of people had entered the village. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to ask about that too. Luke, we really should get started here. You can ask me your next question while we're climbing. Alrighty, next floor. Thank you, Gizmo. Alright, next puzzle. Oh, not another locked door. Whoever built this tower must enjoy watching people suffer. Well, my boy, are you just going to stand there and complain about it? Puzzle 95, a magic square. You need to solve this magic square in order to proceed. A magic square is a set of numbers organized in a square, so that adding any string of three numbers, be they horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, results in the same total. One and two have already been placed on the square for you. Complete the rest of the square to open the lock. Okay. So we're going to have to try and like average it here. So we've got like 3, 4, 5, mix. 7, 12. 1 and 5 is 6, plus 6 is 12. 3 and 6 is 9, plus 3 would be 12. So it's not that. 2 and 4. Okay, well it can't be 9, so it has to be like above 10, which means like... Let's try 15. So if I get these back in, so 5 and 1 and 6 plus 9 is 15, so 2 and 5 is 7 plus 8 is 15, uh, 2 and 9 is 11 plus 4 is 15, 8 and 4 is 12 plus 3 is 15, 9 and 3 is also 12, there we go. Broken. Let's go two, six. Uh, sorry, one, six is seven plus four is eleven. Two and four is six plus five is eleven. Two and four is six plus five is eleven. Four and six and one. Five and six is eleven, so that can't work. Two and eight is ten plus let's go like thirteen. Two and eight is ten plus three is thirteen. Eight and six eight and one is nine plus four is thirteen. Three and four is seven plus six is thirteen. Six and one is seven plus six is thirteen. Damn it. I need a hint, I think. If you have the patience to experiment with all seven numbers, you'll run across the right answer eventually. On the other hand, not everyone has the patience to do that, so here's a hint. The number 5 goes in the center space. Alright, thank you. Okay, so 1 and 5, and let's say 4. So that's 10. 2 and 4 is 6, so it's not 4. 1 and 5 and 8 is 14. 2 and 8 is 10, plus 4 is 14. 1 and 5 is 9, plus 5 would be 14, so it's not that. One and five is six plus three. That can't be that. Plus four is twelve. 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 Plus four is twelve.
plus 6 is 12, 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 4 is 12, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 8 is 12, 4 plus 8 is 12. Seven, thirteen, two and seven is nine, plus four is thirteen, four and five is nine, plus four would be thirteen. We did this one, didn't we? Eight and five is thirteen, plus one is fourteen. Okay, fourteen, fifteen, two and nine is eleven, plus four is fifteen, four and five is is 9 plus 6 is 15 8 and 4 and 3 is 15 2, 5, 7 yeah there we go I thought it was 15 I just had the numbers all in the wrong order excellent any three numbers aligned horizontally, vertically, or diagonally should up should add up to fifteen. I got it. The door's open now. Good show, Luke. So what was it you were asking me earlier? I'm all ears now. I wanted to know when Don Paolo snuck his way into the village. It seems like he followed us here. The only way into Saint Mysteria is through the drawbridge. Plus, I doubt Franco would let in such an obviously evil character as Don Paolo. Yes, to be honest, I still haven't quite figured out how Don Paolo entered Saint Mystia myself. But it seems that after he made his way in, he tried to stay at Beatrice's inn. Oh, so that's the man who skipped out on his bill. It figures it was Don Paolo. So that weasel did himself up to look like Inspector Chalmy, snuck into the mansion, and... Hold on. When did he kill Simon? We'll get to that in a moment. We must keep climbing. Come along. Um, hello, sir. You in a spot of trouble? Ah, konnichiwa, amigos. I'm so glad to see other people. I thought I'd be wandering this place forever. <laughs> hey, how did you get in here? There's no way you solved all those puzzles. Je ne sais pas. It just happened. Un momento. I'm wandering the sewers. The next thing I know, I'm here. I take it that this isn't the local hotspot my guidebook promised it would be. How curious. So where is it you'd like to go? If you go down these stairs, you can return to the village proper. Just make sure you don't fall into the large hole by the entrance. Ah, ZZ. That should be enough information to get me there. But, may I ask one more favour? All this talk of stairs has reminded me of a nut, so I know. Answer it for me, por favor. Puzzle 96, take the stairs. You have business on the 8th floor of a 10-storey building. It took you 48 seconds to make your way from the 1st floor to the 4th. If you keep moving at the same speed, how long will it take you to reach the 8th floor from the 4th? If you keep moving at the same speed, how long will it take you to reach the 4th? Hmm. Would it not be 48 seconds again? You must base the time it takes to climb the rest of the way on the amount of time it took to make it to the fourth floor. How many flights of stairs did you climb between the first and fourth floors again? It'd be... Twelve seconds... Five, six, seven... So, 12 seconds per stairs, then. So, 1 to 2 is 12. 2 to 3, 12. 3 to 4, 12. 
No. 16. 1 to 2 is 16. 2 to 3 16. 3 to 4 16. Which is... 6, 12, 18, plus 30, 48. Okay. If we keep going the same speed, so what are we up to? 4, 4 to 5, 16, 5 to 6, 16, 6 to 7, 16, 7 to 8, 16. Which is 6, 12, 18, 24, plus 40 is 64. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, that's just sort of basic-ish maths. There are three flights of stairs between floors one and four. And four flights, yep. Grazie, now I'm ready to go back to the village. What a strange fellow. Professor, do you suppose that man is human? I believe so. He's an odd one, though, isn't he? I've never seen an explorer with such a poor sense of direction. Stranger still is how he entered St. Mystia. I don't think even he knows how he did it. Perhaps his presence yesterday was another reason why Bruno felt compelled to hide the crank. Alright, where are we headed? It seems that we're faced with another puzzle lock, Luke. Oh, I meant to ask you, but our running with that explorer distracted me. How did Simon... you know? All in good time, my boy. First, we need to solve this puzzle here. It looks to be quite the challenge. Puzzle 97, Princess in a Box 1. Okay. Tired of leading a sheltered life, this princess is trying to escape her castle. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one out to the exit to the right. Okay. They love their sliding block puzzles. Let's go for another hint. You might think you'll get stuck within moments of starting this puzzle, but as long as you aren't repeating the same moves over and over. Yeah, thank you. Useless. Try to move the blue blocks so that both of them are directly above or below the red block. Hold off on thinking about how to move the red block to the exit until you finish this step. Hang on. What? Try to move the blue blocks so that both of them are directly above or below. So I've got both the blue blocks above the red one. I think that's what I needed to do. Now I'm stuck on the purple one. He 
Here's one more trick that should help you move those blocks around. When sliding blocks around, see if you can't move two green blocks to the immediate right of the red block. Then move the purple block to the right of those. See if you can't move two green blocks to the immediate right of the red block, then move the purple block to the right of those. Got it. I don't know what I did there, I was just mucking around and 86 moves or something. This is a classic example of a sliding puzzle, like we haven't had one of those before. There we are, the door should open now. Amazing as always, Professor. Now about Simon, what exactly happened in the mansion? Did Don Paolo really murder, um, make off with Simon? I'd say so. This is just my theory, mind you, but I think that Don Paolo followed us into the manor. That's when he met Simon, or came across him, as the case may be. I suspect Simon had already collapsed when Don Paolo found his body sprawled on the floor. Just like with Ramon. So maybe Simon had also stopped functioning properly, huh? I guess all the robots break down sooner or later, and when they do, Bruno comes to collect them. Then he fixes them here in the basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds of Bruno's machines working? I think you're spot on, Luke. That must be why people began to associate the disappearances with the roaring from the tower. Don't forget that, despite his peculiar appearance, Don Paolo is a scientific genius. Therefore, he probably realised why Simon had stopped moving. If it weren't for the golden apple, Don Paolo likely would have left St. Mystia right then. I'm sure he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how it worked. And that must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chelmy, right? That rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. But that's not the whole mystery. Come, Luke, we must keep moving. I'll explain the rest as we go. Well, I hate to do this, but I think we need to split this up into another episode. Just so we're not going abnormally long. I'd like to thank you for joining me for some more Professor Layton in the Curious Village, and hope that you stick around for the upcoming final episode or two in the near future.